Hello and welcome. Now we are going to be working with features in Evernote in order to collaborate with members of our team and in some cases members of our stakeholders or customers. So in order to do that we're actually going to use the Evernote business account almost exclusively. Now there are workarounds for all of these things if you choose not to use Evernote for business. However, it'll be ideal in order to use some of the collaboration features that Evernote has and to take advantage of the shared workspace. So to get started, we're actually going to click open Evernote. And since this is a business account, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our admin console. And what you'll notice is that there is an area for managing users. So if you don't have your current team members as part of your Evernote account, you want to add them. And so you're going to click Add Users. And what we're going to do is we're going to write their email address in here so that they'll have access to our Evernote business account. You'll see one email address in the dialog box. If you need to invite users in bulk, you can do that at this link. So what we're going to do with our second user is we're going to go ahead and click an invitation. And as a reminder, the individual that will be part of our account will be charged to the account that we are paying for. That individual will not be paying for the account. We will be paying for that individual to use it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to now go to the email address of the other team member. And you're going to notice that this individual has an email in their box. It says that they're invited to join their company's Evernote account. We're going to go ahead and click that link just as if we were the team member. So if that individual already has an account, they'll just confirm it through their web browser. They'll be asked to enter their name. And then they'll be asked to give a personal email address. Then that individual that they have never know the account already, they'll already have a personal account that they can access their personal information. And now they'll be using their business account with the email address that they signed up with. And now the individual has now signed up for Evernote Business and then they'll click into the workspace. Now once the individual is logged in, they'll be able to find any available notes from the team as well as anything that has been published. So now that both individuals are now on Evernote and on the same shared workspace, you are now ready to collaborate. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.